Hello there, this is John V and I'm here for another Jscape MFT server tutorial. Azure Data Lake is an excellent option for storing massive amounts of unstructured, semi-structured, and structured data in the cloud. One of the queries we often get pertaining to it is how to push files from a local storage to Azure Data Lake based on an event. Let me show you how it's done using Jscape MFT Server. I'm going to assume you already have your data lake storage shared folder ready and that you've already gathered the necessary connection details such as the username, password, data lake tenant ID, and data lake storage account FQDN. Once you have those, log into your Jscape MFT Server administrative web interface and go to the Trading Partners module. The first step is to create a data lake trading partner. And to create one, just click the Add button. Select Microsoft Azure Data Lake from the protocol drop-down list and then click OK. Next, specify the Azure Data Lake trading partner parameters. Start by giving this trading partner a name, say TP-Azure Data Lake. We'll use this name to refer to this trading partner in the Jscape MFT server environment. Now enter the connection information we asked you to gather earlier. You may test the connection by clicking the Test Server button. If the test succeeds, click each succeeding OK buttons until you're back at the main screen. Now that you have your trading partner ready, the next step is to create a trigger that would push files from a local drive to Azure Data Lake based on an event. Go to the Triggers module and click the Add button. You'll then be given the option to choose a trigger template that best suits your desired workflow. Let's just skip that part for now and just select the trigger elements ourselves. Click OK to proceed. Give this trigger a name, say, Push Files to Azure Data Lake. Once you're done with that, you may then choose the event type that you want this trigger to respond to. Some of the commonly used event types include Current Time. This is a regular time-based event and is what you normally use if you want this trigger to fire at a predefined schedule. There's the Directory Monitor File Added Event. This event type works in conjunction with a directory monitor which allows triggers to respond to certain directory related events such as new file additions, file deletions, file changes, and file aging. The directory monitor file added event, for example, lets this trigger respond if a new file is added to the monitor directory. And then there's file move. This event type allows this trigger to respond to any local file movement caused by another trigger that uses the move file or move regex file trigger actions. In a way, you can use this trigger event type to monitor directory file additions without using a directory monitor. We've provided a link to a discussion on directory monitors in the post or in the description. If you scroll down that list, you'll see that there are several other event types to choose from. For this example, let's just use the current time event type. So that means this trigger will fire at a predefined schedule. We want this trigger to fire every Sunday at 8.30 p.m. So we build the appropriate expression using the expression builder. For more information on how to use the expression builder, read the post Introducing the new Trigger Conditions Expression Builder. We've provided a link to that in the post or in the description. After you click the Next button, you'll be brought to the Trigger Action screen where you can add the trigger action that would ultimately push the files in question from a specified local directory to Azure Data Lake based on the event you chose earlier. Click Add to add a new trigger action. For this example, we'll be using the Trading Partner Regex File Upload Trigger Action. This trigger action will upload files to a specified trading partner 
and we'll pick files to upload based on a regular expression or wildcard. Click OK to proceed. Once you get to the Trigger Action Parameters dialog, start by selecting the trading partner you created earlier in the Partner drop-down list. Next, specify the local directory from which files will be retrieved. After that, select your preferred expression type. In this example, we'll just choose wildcard and then enter asterisk dot asterisk in the regular expression field. This will pick all files found in the specified local directory. Next, specify the destination remote directory on Azure Data Lake where you want those files to be uploaded to. Here, I am entering jscape1 slash folder1 wherein jscape1 is a shared folder in my Azure Data Lake storage and folder1 is a subfolder underneath it. Lastly, you may tick the delete on success to have the original files deleted after a successful upload. Click OK when you're done. Once you're back at the trigger action screen, you'll see your newly added trigger action on the trigger actions canvas. Drag an arrow from the start output of the workflow node to the execute input of the new trigger action node. And then click OK to finalize the trigger creation process. That's it. Now you know how to configure Jscape MFT server so it can push files from a local directory to Azure Data Lake based on a